pretty damn good. I don't know. Something more exciting about that, huh? That's 91. I kind of like that. was a kind of a wannabe musician. He, he played the ukulele. Uh -huh. He had like several ukuleles, but my mom kept sitting on him by mistake on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I think there were three of three consecutive ukulele purchases. Well, she might have, she might have accidentally on purpose. <laughs> Maybe. He was good though. He had an ear and he, he used to like country music though. Right. Like Detour, There's a Muddy Road Ahead and songs like that. And um, he taught me how to play. I played violin when I was eight for about four years, and I played started playing guitar when I was about eleven or twelve. And he bought me, I had a, a twelve string, a Goya twelve string. Oh yeah. And then he bought me, my dad bought me an electric guitar. It was some unknown brand cool. called like, is a Japanese brand called Kenora or something. I never even heard of it, but. But it was like this burgundy colored electric guitar and a little amp. It was like so cool. Sounds cool. And we played, I went down to the neighbors and we played Gloria all day. Uh, yeah. Like for mm -hmm. hours. Yeah. <laughs> Same song, over and over yeah. and over. We, we played Louie Louie. That was my first song that I learned. It's like yeah. my audition with Bob Dylan. We played Hey Joe for about 30 minutes. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey Joe, hey Joe, is that good in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what are you going to do, you know?
Don't do that. Let's pull my guitar out and start. It sounds lovely. I love the uh, passion away. Really For the rhythm section, I knew I had to have um, James Gadson drums and um, Reggie McBride on bass because they're my favorite. They're my favorites in LA. Reggie McBride, fellow Detroiter. Motor City. On, on the funky bass. James Gadson. Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> Who's playing the Charlie ball? Parker, the bird. great musicians here and there are some other there are some amazing musicians here but something about them I just like because they're really they're funky and they're tasteful but they're not too overly funky if you tell them you want it funkier they'll do it but if you don't you know if you say oh bring it back a little bit they know they're so experienced and they play with the, the some of the greatest people in the world tell Lance who people and then you as well but tell Lance who you played with the people that you've worked with wow. yeah Marcy Detroit, yeah. Sam, yeah. Luke. What about some of the stars that you've worked with? Marvin Gaye, Diane Ross, uh, Paul McCartney, Temptations, Beck, Freddie Hubbard, B.B. Uh, uh -huh. King, Albert King, Freddie so King. people, uh, Elton John, uh, Minnie Ripperton, Stevie Wonder, uh, Pink Floyd, right? really? and, uh, I didn't know that. Don Henley, and let's see, Michael Jackson, um, Rod Stewart, The Dramatics. The Dramatics? Yes. 
Teddy Pendergrass. Oh, cool. I didn't know all that. How was that? Yeah. Uh, I just did a session. He wasn't there, but I did a session for him. And uh, James and I have done all what we did Tom Jones together. Oh, I love Tom. Right, sure. A lot of different sessions. A lot of that lady Algerol. sang that song that Philadelphia stuff that committed suicide? Oh, you know, wow. too. Uh, uh, mm. Tall lady. Don't leave me this way, y'all. No, Thelma, Thelma Houston. Did, Thelma you did Thelma Houston? Houston? But we did somebody Thelma. else, too. Uh, Phoebe Snow. Oh, Phoebe. Snow. You worked with Phoebe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I we love did a Phoebe. Lot of that. Man, I didn't know that was live that day. We was in there. Yeah. I had no idea that she was in there saying, my headphone was messed up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I had them and Johnny Lee Shell, who plays with Bonnie Raitt and Taj Mahal on guitar. And um, this really great young guy named Luke Miller is a really good keyboard player. He's really soulful. Plays plays the B3 and the piano. Everything he plays is like clavinet. It's ridiculously good. So, yeah, I'm just pretty tired right now. And here I was thinking, oh, let's stay till 10 o'clock. Let's stay for another half an hour and, you know, put some overdubs on. But the engineer or guy, Tom, owns the studio left, so everything shut down in there. So, we got five tracks down today. We started at, well, we all came here at 12. There was a bit of delay getting started, but... I think from 1 till about 8.30, we got actually five songs. Five songs. And they were really good. And like Gadsden said, we didn't rush anything. Um, everything sounded really good. It worked any kind of, you know, roughness out of it. And everybody was really cool. Um, they were so amazing to work with. I'm just so excited. I can hardly stand myself.